technologies that we have these days. But yeah, there's actually some new Wolverine tech that Justin has found. Yeah. And uh, I know what it is. I, and, I do too, but let's he's not. he's saving it. Yeah. And, but here's the question. is he's, I'm sure he's told Noel the tech. Oh, no doubt. So are we going to see this tech from Noel? I, dude, certainly not in, in first match. Unless it turns out that uh, his opponent here, that Javier Falcon, a.k.a. Dunmore, is, is godlike. If he needs to use it, then I'm sure he will. But I, I don't think that he's going to be expecting to use it here. Yeah, Noel was actually considering switching teams, and we might see that later. Something he's been thinking about for a while. In fact, the, the team that Justin used to do so well at CEO is a team that Noel told him about. So Dunmore with Deadpool, Spider-Man, and Wesker. Interesting team combo, but right now he's getting lit up already by Wolverine. Nice okay. counter. Noel keeps it up. <laughs> oh, nice. You're always so worried about high or low, left or right, and he just goes with a throw instead. Right. And Deadpool, bye bye. He's now Spider-Man. Ooh! Oh. Went through the shopping cart, not easy to do. I love the block by Noel though. Oh nice, I love that he dashed under him so that he could combo him into the corner. This is this is a great idea. Get oh. rid of that potential problem character, X Factor, as soon as he confirmed that he was hitting and had a good spot to do so. You know, people, Noel Brown is not a popular player because, you know, he plays the role of the heel, right? And uh, a lot of people don't necessarily give him the credit he deserves for his skills, but he is seriously one of the players who understands the flow of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 better than anyone else. Yeah. It's not necessarily the strategy or whatever, but he understands just kind of the momentum and how to shift that momentum and control the pacing of the match. No, that, on, on the left side of your screen. Yeah, that's, that is his biggest strength of this game. He is so good at knowing when to tag in characters and go for X Factors and DHCs and such. So he's trying to, he tried the TAC again. He, he tried it first round, didn't work. I guess he guessed it's correctly on the direction here. He's going to be able to level up Frank West in level 3. Alright, so he's got the roll and the anti-air super and the special move kicks. Not going to need any of them to finish off Deadpool. He's going to hard tag right back into Wolverine. Wow. And cross up Drill Claw and then just gets picked up by the shopping cart. Is he going to snap? There it is. Oh, Ooh, this time stayed in front. No. And he'll probably save it for the slide maybe. Oh, no. He's just... Are we going to team super? Oh, he's going for loops. You know, he probably has the damage calculator here. We saw him drop that loop a lot at CEO. That's true. He got it there, didn't cancel the super. I, I can't say he did that on accident, though. He might have did it on purpose just to save it. And I think he's still working on he a is. perfect here. Yeah, he That's what oh. he's, he's already standing up. Yeah. And he just nods. Boom. 